Hi everyone and welcome to vMix, live from the NAB booth in Las Vegas. It is Wednesday, day three of the NAB live show floor. We're down here in South Lower Hall in the NAB booth and I'm Martin Sinclair, the founder of vMix. And for those who don't know what vMix is all about, vMix is all about allowing anybody to create an amazing live production or live stream. We provide the software and hardware to switch your production, ad sources, graphics, videos, and even things like instant replay and social media integration. For this segment of our live show, I'll be talking about the brand new features available in vMix 17. The three new features available in the vMix 17 software are NDI, pan tilt zoom support and web browser input support. So first of all, we'll talk about NDI. NDI is the, one of the big new things at this show this year. And NDI is all about sharing live video in broadcast quality and in low latency between different computers or devices on your local network. So imagine how you would in the past connect a camera to your production system using say an SDI cable. Well now you can connect that camera to a system or a computer or a device and then connect it using a gigabit ethernet cable to that production system. But not only that, not only can it be used to replace the SDI cable, it can be shared amongst multiple systems simultaneously. So we're going to demonstrate how you can connect two different computers running vMix using NDI. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to jump to the desktop capture so you can see my production. I have a whole a bunch of inputs down here in the bottom of the screen. I've got microphones, virtual inputs, I've got camera angles, desktop capture, titles, so on and so forth. We'll say I want to receive the output of vMix running on another computer. Now in our booth here today, we have four demo stations. Two of them are running our vMix hardware systems and two of them are running our software. So from this desktop capture, I can find those NDI sources on the network. For example, I can click Add Input. And for those that aren't familiar with vMix, Add Input is where you add all of your sources, your graphics, your videos, your cameras, all can be added to your production from the Add Input window. So for this example for NDI, I'm gonna select the NDI tab. And you can see here immediately you see thumbnail previews of all the different video sources available on the network. So we have a computer here called User. And on that computer called User, there are four camera inputs set up in vMix and the final output. So I can select any of these. So we can select this camera angle here, which is showing down the hall of the south lower hall. So all I have to do is double click that. And now I've got a nice low latency broadcast quality picture uh, that I can switch to just like an ordinary camera angle, just as if it were added, connected physically to this system over SDI. So I can right click that and I can select any of the other sources available and I can switch to another computer system. So here's my, mic here's my camera plugged into that system as well. And now I can share it from that system and bring it into this one. And I can even choose the output which is a uh, video clip is currently playing over the output of the user PC. And you don't have to just add one input. You can add as many as you need. I can go to add input again now, and I can select the NDI tab, and I can bring in other camera sources on those computers as well, such as this one here. So now I'm bringing two low latency broadcast quality video feeds in over the network. But not only can you bring in video feeds, NDI is all about any sort of video and audio sources over the network. So you could have software running on some of these systems uh, that is sending graphics or sending titles. And in fact, New Blue FX at newbluefx.com have a brand new product called the uh, New Blue Titler Pro Live Broadcast Edition, which supports uh, creating scoreboard and title templates and sending them out over the network and sharing them so that this computer can pick them up and use them in vMix with full alpha channel support. And not only that, NDI can also be used for desktop capture for Windows and 
uh, Mac. So you can go to our website at vmix.com slash NDI and download the free desktop capture tools for both Windows and Mac and install those pro on, those, on those laptops, connect them to the same network, and those desktops will be available for sharing and bringing into your production in vMix. So it's all about sharing low latency video and audio. So what we're gonna demonstrate now is the second brand new feature in vMix 17. This feature is the pan tilt zoom support. Uh, so to demonstrate that, we have two cameras, which I'm going to show here in our production. I have a Panasonic camera over here and a Sony camera over here. Both of these cameras are pan tilt zoom cameras that offer SDI output for the video and an Ethernet port for control. So v you can connect the Ethernet ports into the same network, and that is how vMix is able to control those pan, tilt, and zoom cameras. And not only does it support Panasonic and Sony, it also supports cameras by PTZ Optics. And we have a couple of those demoing in our booth as well. So I'll jump to the interface and show you how you can control these pan, tilt, zoom cameras. So we can see here we've got our production. What I want to go to is the original camera input. So this is PTZ1 down here, and this is PTZ2 over here. PTZ2 is our Sony camera. So let's open that up into the input settings. And just so you saw what I did there, I just simply clicked the cog icon. Now I can go to the brand new PTZ tab. And all you have to do here is select the device type. Is it a Sony, PTZ Optics, or Panasonic camera? And then type in the IP address uh, or web address. Uh, you can find that information out in the manual of the various different cameras. They provide different configuration instructions. But once you've figured out what the IP address is, you type it in here and click connect. And once you've connected, you'll see you have these controls available. You can move around, you can move left, you can move right, up, down, at an angle like so, and you can zoom in and you can zoom out like so. And you can adjust the speed of the zoom as well. So if I drag that slider all the way up to the top, I'll have a fast zoom in effect. So let's, let's zoom in and create a profile camera angle like so. So I'll just keep zooming in and create a close-up camera angle right here. So once you've got that shot established, let's move it uh, off to the side a bit. You can click this button over here in the top. And this is the key to how powerful it, uh, the PTZ controls are in vMix. I can simply click Create Input at this position, and what that does is it creates a brand new input. You can see we've got four already added, but it creates a brand new input, a virtual camera in vMix that is assigned to this particular position in the PTZ camera. So I can find that in the list, and it's right down here. And just to organize my production, I can drag that into the PTZ category. And you can see I have a whole bunch of presets that I've already created in this category. And all I have to do is click it into the preview and the camera will move into position. This one's a little bit more zoomed out. This one's over here if I have a guest on the show. And this one here is a wide shot. And so I could just simply point and click and when they go into preview, they'll automatically zoom into position. So that way you can have another camera angle live. For example, I can have this camera angle live and I can be queuing up in the preview window. I want the wide shot of that camera. Okay, it zoomed into position and then I can cut to it like so and it's just like I had a camera in that camera angle. And in fact, I can cut to this one and I'm just selecting here the close up and then I can cut to it again over here and suddenly I've got a new camera angle uh, ready to go and as simple as point and click you can queue them up in the preview bus on the control surface it just allows you to create virtual camera angles unlimited number of camera angles that are assigned to various pan tilt and zoom presets in your production so you could turn two pan tilt zoom cameras into an unlimited number of camera angles right from within vmix and treat them as if they were unique cameras so that's the pan tilt and zoom features available in vmix 17 and finally the brand new feature the third and final brand new feature in vmix 17 for this release is the web browser input support now this is pretty cool and unique previously if you wanted to bring in a web page into production or a youtube video you would have to capture it you know run it on a laptop capture it in maybe you'd use the hdmi output of that laptop maybe you'd use a desktop capture program to send it over the network well now you don't have to use any of 
of that to bring in a web page. You can bring them right in from within vMix. So I'm going to cut to the, the desktop capture shot again just to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to add a web page. I'm just going to go to this category called web pages. Now in vMix there's color coded category tabs that you can use to organize all your various sources. For this one, you can right click it and you can change the text of all of them. So I just called it web pages um, for this demo, but you can call it anything you like. Um, and so I can go to add input. I can select the web browser tab and I can type in a web address here, vmix.com for example, and click OK. And that'll bring in a brand new source and it will load that web page in. And what's really cool is from the preview window, I can just use the mouse and I can drag this browser window. I can browse through the, the vMix website, I can show the features, I can even go to our vMix YouTube channel. And because this web browser input supports audio, I can bring in an audio source. For example, this is a little video about what vMix is all about. It also I can cut that to the output. Video productions. vMix supports a variety of different inputs to help your live and production you're hearing the come audio to life. From that YouTube video. These it's include smooth, cameras, full video. quality, HD, and it's coming in live. So that is a great way to bring in web browser inputs for demos, to show products, uh, you know, you could, you could even show chat rooms, things like that. Any aspects of your production where you need to bring a browser or a web page in, now you can do it directly from within the production. And I can right click and I can go back, I can, I can go forward, I can move all around the, the, the production of the website. And this is a, a, a source that works just like a camera. So it has an audio meter, you can turn on or off the audio, you can add audio effects to it, just like it was a camera input. And one of the final things you can do with the web browser input is you can use it with things like Twitch alerts. So there's a, a, a large community out there of gamers that are using game, um, that are streaming their games live to websites like Twitch. And there are also services out there that allow you to add graphic elements on top of the game, you know, like when somebody subscribes to you or when somebody sends you a donation. These are all done through a website called Twitch alerts, and there's a, uh, there's a couple of other ones as, as well, like Strexum. They provide web page elements with a transparent background that you can add into your production and use as downstream keys or overlays. Now, vMix through the web browser input support can now allow you to do this. If you bring in one of those graphical elements, it'll automatically detect the alpha channel backdrop and allow you to use that as an overlay or downstream key. You could also create your own graphics in HTML5. You can use CSS, you can use JavaScript, you can create animations, you create little graphical bugs, and you can create them in a web page and then bring that web page or HTML file into vMix and use it as a part of your production. Just like it was a professional CG generating system. Now you can use any HTML page as a graphics generator. So that's the new web browser input support in vMix 17. So there are the three new features available in vMix 17. To recap is NDI, which is all about sharing audio and video over a local area network. Uh, gigabit Ethernet, high quality, low latency. The second new feature is pan, tilt and zoom. And finally, the web browser input. So that's it for vMix 17. 